game. You're nothing these days if you're not carrying a blade. Don't you know that? You're not going to get the ultimate respect that you want when you want to be credible on the street. It's just the truth, isn't it? If you've not got a blade on you, you fucking no one. You're not representing, are you? You're not real. So obviously, people are going to carry more knives. With that being the information. And then, you know, again, like, you know, the banned guns. You can't really ban a kitchen knife, can you? So, this is why I want knife control, right? I want everyone that buys a knife to have it registered to them. I want to make sure that they are actually, you know, have the mental stability to own a knife as well, right? And that even goes for like sharp objects that you could make out of a tin can or something. Or dismantle the razor blade and glue it into a toothbrush. It goes for everything, really. Jamie, have you got anything to add? Carry more knives, man. Carry more knives. It's not enough knife crime in the country yet. I need to build it up a bit. I'm sure there's people out on the internet who will be secretly doing that. So, anyway. What did he used to say? He's too hot with that on there. Stop the new world, Dad. <laughs> it's all out on it. Lollipop head. <laughs> Jamie, yeah. you got anything to leave him with? Be safe, man. Get a bigger knife. That knife ain't shit. If you're carrying that kind of knife around, no one's gonna want to shag you out there. The bigger your knife. Think about it now, be one. Jamie, have you finished now? Yeah, he gave you thumbs up. He said, tell them all that uh, you're better off with a bazooka, really. Anything what could cause fatal injury to someone, have it on you. Good advice. It's from the kids to the kids. It's the kids talking to the kids. Giving everybody great advice. And that is what the Rossman show is all about. And uh, I'm getting going to get into the uh, the nitty gritty of it tomorrow and start sort of like sorting out how much money I'll need off you all. Um, I'll, I'll basically be begging weekly. And uh, slowly but surely, one or two mugs that are that sad and desperate will start donating cash to me. About six months, I might be seeing a couple of hundred quid a week. So, then I invest that in a really big knife. And I'll be like the toughest kid on the street. We'll say no one's got a knife bigger. The knife handy. They call me knife handy. And so the knife was coming down the road. I thought, like, I want the biggest knife. And I want to sort the reds out on that. And then, on top of it, I'm going to buy myself a pair of shoes that I can float on. That's going to be a few quid. I'll have to charge you a lot for it because I ain't got any money. And, uh, I really would prefer it if you paid for everything. 
It's like, I want my nine ninety nine for these cans I bought tonight. You'll get a receipt. I'm starting a business up called cash.com where you just send me cash. It's a new venture that I'm starting out. Probably someone else has done it, but I'm going to call mine bitcoin.cash. And that ring, that's going to start it all out anyway. Plus which, I've got the pension coming in from uh, all my dead relatives that mysteriously died falling on knives. And that's about it really for tonight. So I'll uh, come and try and do a video tomorrow if I get time. I didn't really want to do this video, but what I like to say in every video, I know I'm repetitive, we'll be with one, but... What I'd all like to say at the beginning of every video was, I didn't want to do this video, but I thought that I was looking at a drain pipe and the despite the clock. You're a freaky fucking woman. Go run all around the world, sweetheart. I won sub. you morbid. <laughs> Doesn't work out here, I know you. Brothers and sisters, big love. One.